Hey guys, we're gonna go over the dragon squat flow. Um, it's a combination of like three different variations of the squat, but the dragon squat is involved in it. So we're gonna first go over the dragon squat by itself. Um, the way you perform this squat is you're going to be stepping behind one of your feet. So if I got my left foot planted, I'm gonna step my right foot behind. I'm going on the ball of the foot. That foot is in line, so it's not way back behind it or way out in front of it. All right, and I'm stepping pretty far across. Far across to where when I squat down in that position, this knee can go to the inside of my feet. So I don't want that knee to be on the outside or behind. I want it to go in kind of through the legs. Ball of the foot, flat foot. I go to the other side, stepping behind, ball of the foot, flat foot, squatting down. Now from here, I'm going to reach into the tension. So there's one direction you can go that'll unwind you, another one that's gonna wind you up. I wanna go into this wound up position. So I'm stepping to the other side, here, going into the tension. Good. Now the sequence, the flow, is gonna be a combination of kind of the squat, the, uh, the caustic squat, and then the dragon. So from squat position, to shift my weight over towards one foot. My weight's here as I'm touching this foot to the ground. Cossack squat type movement. Reach behind, dragon squat. From here, I'm now going to unwind into the squat. Lateral squat, Cossack squat, and this foot steps behind into dragon. Let me know if y'all got questions.